It is Friday. I like talking about movies. I recently saw a movie. So I'm gonna talk about Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and just let, let's, let's have some fun. This is my third movie review, and I don't know if I'm any good at it, but who, I, it's like I said, it's Friday. I like to do these. I like to talk movies, so I'm gonna just talk movies. So I just did see Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's been out now uh, about a week, week and a half, and you know my opinion. Just gonna give you some thoughts. This is spoiler free, but really, it's essentially. Well, let me take a step back. As somebody, because since this is a stock trading channel, but as a person, as a Disney shareholder, somebody that owns Disney, I love the fact that Disney is taking one statement from A New Hope. So that would be Star Wars, uh, the fourth one that came out. But there's one sentence in that video, where, or that movie, I should say, where they say it, and now Disney is like, all right, yeah, we're gonna take that sentence and we're gonna make an entire movie out of it and make a lot of money, which so far, so good. The reports are coming in. A lot of money has been made. So as a Disney shareholder, that's great. That tells me they have plenty of material. If they're getting all this movie out of one little sentence from A New Hope, again, Star Wars, uh, the fourth one. With that being said, I would say probably watch the fourth Star Wars before you watch this one uh, because there was a lot of connections that were kind of fuzzy. Like, I think that's, but had I watched it going in, it would have been, okay, yeah, and you would have had you know a lot more connections. Now, do you have to watch it? I'm not gonna say that, but I think the experience would be better uh, if you do watch that fourth one going in, especially towards the end uh, of Rogue One. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool how it all uh, kind of tied in. So the story, is not really a spoiler, but they need to go find, they being the, uh, the Rebel Alliance needs to go and find the plan for the Death Star. And then this is what kind of takes them on in their journey. Now, the one thing that uh, I didn't, I didn't really like at first, but the more and more I think about it, it's not quite as bad, but it seemed like the first part of the movie, maybe like the first act was maybe a little rush, kind of convoluted because they were jumping here and then they're at this plan and then they're at that plan and then you know this character and then that character and that character and you're, you're supposed to kind of keep all this up and be connecting all these dots and looking back in hindsight, you know, when the movie ends, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that all makes good sense but first time through, it was kind of, uh, wait, what? And a little confusing. So I feel like this movie is one where the second time you see it, you're gonna like it that much better because you're gonna have a, the framework already and you'll be able to connect those dots a lot easier. So first section though of the movie, eh, a little rough, not necessarily a bad way, just it, it probably could have been better. Uh, and you know, a, a flawless movie is gonna be one where you don't have to go and see it again in order for it to be you know, the best case possible, right? So that is definitely one negative of the movie. But after it gets to kind of the, the last portion of the movie, uh, it's just, I was I I liked it a lot. I'll just leave it at that. But there are the, the special effects, the you know the the battle scenes, all that stuff is pretty nitty and gritty. Not necessarily as kid friendly as kind of some of the other Star Wars movies. So this one definitely has more of an adult like feel to it. But I liked it. I mean the the beach scenes and all that stuff, fantastic. And then there's something else which I'm I can't say here because you know that would be a spoiler. But there's always been kind of a complaint. And myself included, I mean, I'm an engineer by degree, so I kind of nitpick little stupid things what you know is being nitpicked. But there's a portion where they address why something is the way it is that has been held against Star Wars for like decades upon decades. And they address it in what I think is a very clever way, and I'm buying it. It, it makes sense to me, and it just, it makes good, solid sense. It's not like, all right, what, you? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm buying the idea. They finally addressed it in a way that I think uh, a lot of people will be pleased with. So, so as far as a grade, kind of a, a goofy, I would say B plus first time through, but I have a plan to go see it again. So I'm thinking after I see it again, it'll probably easily get bumped up to that A minus range. Uh, but as it stands right now, B plus first time through, I would definitely say it's worth going to the, uh, the theaters and seeing and checking it out. Uh, but if you want just some good solid action uh, and you know, uh, one where you have to think a little bit, then definitely check it out. Uh, it's one that I think you know, you'll be happy uh, to go and see. So uh, as always, if you want me to review other movies, um, let me know, but this is not a movie review channel. I just like talking movies, so here we are. But check it out, definitely let me know what you think about it after you saw it, uh, and you know, do, you do, do you agree with the way they address this kind of obscure topic that I can't say here that has been held against Star Wars if you think they kinda, you know, 
copped out a little bit in regards to that. So curious to hear your thoughts. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're into trading and maybe want to learn more about, maybe you don't even know what the stock market is, then subscribe to the channel. I offer a lot of uh, different videos on that and trading in general. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.